Hackers are getting more sophisticated day by day. They can easily gain access to your WordPress website password. So that's where two-factor authentication comes in. Hey guys, Rana here and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can secure your website while enabling two-factor authentication on your WordPress website. Once you enable two-factor authentication on your website, let's say somehow hackers are able to gain access to your WordPress website password once again, but they won't be able to log in into your WordPress website just because they don't have access to your phone or another or secondary device. So what are you waiting for? Let's quickly secure your website by enabling two-factor authentication on your WordPress website. In order to enable two-factor authentication on your WordPress website, we are going to install a plugin. Let's over your mouse over plugins and then click on add new. And come over here and search for WP2FA, two-factor authentication. And install this plugin by WP White Security. Click on install now and then activate the plugin. Now we have to walk through with this wizard. Let's go ahead, click on let's get started. And here you have to select the authentication method. I'm going to uncheck this one via email because this is a less secure. We will use one time code with our favorite applications. We will find out what I mean by that. Just check this option and click on continue setup. And here you have to select one of this option. I'm going to select all user and click on continue setup. If you want to exclude any user or role, just type in over here. I'm not going to do it. Let's click on continue setup. And here you have to select one of this method. User have to configure two factor authentication straight away or you want to give them a grace period. I'm going to select this option. Three days would be enough. Let's click on all done. At this point, you can close this wizard if you want. I'm going to configure two factor authentication now. Now this pop up window will appear. And here you have to configure the two-factor authentication with these applications. You can use Google Authentication, Authy or Microsoft Authentication. You can use any of them. I personally like Authy because this is really useful application. I always use Authy. In order to install Authy, go to your phone. On your phone, you have to install this application. Let's click on Get button. Double click on Install. Click on Install. I'm going to fill in my password here. Click on Sign in. Once you install this application, tap to open, type your phone number, I'm from India and I'm going to type my phone number, click OK. Let's verify by SMS, type your registration code over here, click allow, now click on add account, click scan QR code, click OK, now scan the code, now I'm going to click on skip, click on ignore. Now enter your website name which is already there click save once you add your website on authy then click on i'm ready and type your authentication code let's go ahead type the code that you're seeing on your phone and click on validate and save my configuration i think this is wrong okay now we are done here now click on i'll generate them later so now as you can see we have successfully configured our two-factor authentication on our website if you just logged out, click on log out and log back in with your password, click on login. You have to type the authentication code in order to log in into your website. Let me quickly add the authentication. Let me quickly add the authentication code. Seven double nine seven double nine three four seven. Let's click on login. So as you can see, we have successfully logged in into our WordPress website by typing the authentication code. So you just simply add the powerful security layer into your WordPress website. All right, so that's the end of this video. If you want to add extra layer of security on your website by enabling SSL certificate, which stands for secure socket layer, by enabling SSL certificate, you can secure the sensitive information of your visitor. Let's say you have e-commerce website. When people come to your website, what they're seeing or what they're submitting, all the information will be encrypted with this SSL certificate. So if you want to learn how to install SSL certificate for free, just watch this video or this video, whatever you, wherever you see on screen or somewhere in the description. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoy it or you learn something from this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video. Till then, I'll see you next time.